Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick and dirty introduction to HiQ OS. For people who haven't heard of it, it's an operating system that bought, was born out of the BIOS uh, operating system back in the early 2000s. Um, it's a nice little operating system, I'm just going to give you a very quick intro to this. I'll record more professional videos later on on specific topics, but for now, I just want to give you a brief intro. So this is the kind of uh, screen that you get when you launch it. Um, within here, you can go off to the desk bar and you can open up applications that you've already got running, you can go click on other applications or look at um, more recent applications you've used. Um, but it's a really nice interface. I um, just want to show you a few things about it. You've got virtual desktops as well, so if I hold down Control alt and hit right, um, then I can get to a different virtual desktop. So I've got four desktops configured. And I've got a few windows here that I want to show you, but uh, you know these aren't the nicest arrange windows in the world so uh, I'm just going to hold down my windows key and just drag this onto here you see they highlight change different and I can go and line them up so I'm just going to do that to all my apps there uh, and now I've got you know, nicely stacked windows that I can have a look at so on here as you'd expect from any operating system there's out of the box apps for you to do stuff so this one's a PDF viewer so I can skip through the PDF, if I want to read about lifts, uh, elevators, I can read about elevators to my house content, you know, rock and roll lifestyle that I live. Uh, I can get a web positive, which is the browser built into HiQ. I can view the HiQ website, which you'd kind of expect to work. Uh, I can look at uh, the latest news on uh, Antelope, which is highly riveting. I can read the latest Dilbert cartoon. <laughs> Uh, I can watch the you know the the latest cat videos if I wanted as well. I can do all my usual things that I do on any operating system. Uh, there's also other apps that you can download from the App Store, which I'll show you later on, which is called HiQ Depot. This is called Scribus or Scribus or however you pronounce it, and it's a desktop publishing application. Uh, as you've noticed, as I'm moving around here, this magnify up on the right hand side kind of changes, so you get some little apps built in as well like that, and desk calc apps and a few other bits and bobs. Um, but you also get multimedia apps as well, so here we've got uh, a video of a rabbit, I'm actually not playing the audio so that you can hear me, but uh, yeah, cute kind of guy, off to get his breakfast in the morning, it's kind of nice, yeah, really funny, uh, scratching his bum, which is wonderful, um, and as you can see, you know, I can kind of skip through here pretty quickly, and go and watch whichever parts of the video I want, and it doesn't delay at all, I can then pause that. I can go and, uh, this is Haiku Depot that I talked about earlier, so say I want to go and edit uh, an image, so have a look on here for applications built in that do image editing, I've got an icon one, but nothing particularly brilliant. So what I can do in here in Haiku Depot, and, uh, I can search for all different type of apps, now by default it just shows featured apps, so I show all categories, but I'm interested in image editing, so I click on graphics here. I can see lots of different apps in here. Uh, Bcaso sounds good. So I can just uh, see the ratings here, read the reviews, and I can click install there. And it installs the app and all its dependencies. So dead, dead easy. Much easier to open it. And then I can uh, open that app. Uh, oh, getting nice helpful tips. Great. And uh, I got a file open. So if I open a file, I go onto my desktop and uh, in true uh, Blue Peter style, here's a uh, image file. And I get a preview of it. Can I go and open that and have a play around with it? Wow, that's a really nice file. That looks really good on this screen. I'm just running this in a VMware image, so nothing kind of crazy going on here. Um, and then if I'm a developer, as you, as you do if you're a developer, you can kind of go and use the debugger. The debugger is really cool here. You can look at the apps that you've got and attach and load core files if you had a crash. Uh, you can go and using the built-in editor. The built-in editor has got some quite cool features. So in C++, I can kind of jump forwards to the different um, functions I've got there. And I can click on the H. One which uh, shows me all the header files that I can include, including the one at the top. And again, oh, there's this one, but I don't. I want to view them side by side so I can actually see what's going on. So again, if I hold down the uh, Windows key, you see how those two sides change colour there. If I let go, it'll highlight them both. So I'm tiling uh, the two windows there, which is pretty cool. And then I can go view and uh, go and view that to my uh, heart's content there, which is great. Um, and that's really a quick and dirty guide to the operating system. I've got a few other features built in as well. So the find feature is really cool. So the, the way the file system works in Haiku, using the B file system, it's really, really clever. It's got this unique query and indexing capability. So rather than building an index really slowly like you get in other operating systems, it's actually built into the file system. So I can search by attribute and by default there's not many attributes. But say if I select the specific type of thing I'm interested in, be it images or whatever, if I select image, and by attribute, um, uh, by name, 
I can go and uh, search for those things. So here we see PNG attributes. I can search by a whole bunch of those things. I'm just going to keep it to name and search for something with sample in it. Click search and that's instant. And the reason it's instant is because of the way this file system works. Uh, the attributes that you see on the file you can all view here. So it's, it's pretty cool. So I can show where it was created. Uh, I can show a whole bunch of other uh, specific attributes because it's an image file. So it makes navigating really, really easy. And the way your mail works and the way everything works is it's kind of like this. So it's pretty cool. So the operating system has got some quite unique features, both in arranging windows and using apps. And I really like it. Um, but this is a quick and dirty whistle stop tour. I'll record a few more videos later on and show you what it's really like. Thank you for your time.